Peace, y'all. This is Ashe. I'm all about life force rejuvenation and paradigm shifts. And we are on technique 19 of Journey to Zero by Melinda Dond, MD. I think I'm saying that right. So let's get into it. We're going to be working with our Anahata, our heart center, and our Ajna, our third eye. We're going to go uh, inhale one, two, three, four, and hold two, three, four, exhale two, three, four, hold two, three, four. Okay. Now, uh, concentrate on the air element in the inhalation phase of the cycle. Take the breath from the heart chakra up to the Ajna chakra. This center is associated with spirituality. The Anahata or unstruck sound is said to originate in this chakra. The yogis whose consciousness is centered in this chakra obtains intuitive knowledge of Siddhi. Siddhi is supernatural powers. However, pursuing these is a hindrance in the pursuit of truth and care must be taken to control the ego. So this is what I got from this. If your heart isn't on the right frequency, you are not going to access these supernatural powers. Because if you have intention to obtain these supernatural powers and the intention is not at least up to the heart chakra, it's not going to manifest because the heart chakra is a portal. So, And as you start learning about chakras and energy centers, someone can live in their lower three chakras and never make it to the heart chakra. So you do have to get on a certain vibration, right? And if you are watching this video, and if you are breathing and meditating with me, way more than likely, <laughs> you are at least at the vibration of the heart chakra, the Ajna chakra. Yo, give yourself a round of applause, like give yourself a hug. Let's go, because how many people are breathing breathing into their heart chakra? How many people are breathing into their anahata, into their ajna? Who knows how many people, but you're about to do it right now. So let's go. I got the timer for five minutes. As y'all know, I'm going to breathe and count with you, and then I'm going to fall off, and we're just going to go into, this, into the void, right? Okay, ready? Let us breathe in. Breathe out. Get the nerves out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Don't mind. Actually, can you turn that fan off? Because it's so crickety. <laughs> okay, bet. And in, out, in, out, one more time, all the nerves out, in, out, and let's go, inhale, concentrating on the air element, starting on our, at our heart chakra and moving up to our third eye, our first eye, our Ajna chakra. Inhale, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, three, four, hold, two, three, four, slower, inhale, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, exhale, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, one more time, inhale, air element, three, four, hold at the third eye, two, four, and exhale, two, three, four, and hold at the heart, three, four, inhale, air element, hold, exhale,
and breathe in. Breathe out. Wow, how much breathing you can get done in five minutes. So I hope that was a beautiful introduction on how you can introduce the air element into your heart chakra and your third eye chakra. Please give it a try on your own again. Something about that second repetition in the meditation just really is the cherry on top when you meditate. That's at least what I've noticed for me. Y'all let me know what you noticed for you. And as you all know, I hope this gave you the life force rejuvenation and paradise shift that you needed for your journey. And I'm honored to be on this journey with you. I'll see you guys in the next meditation life force rejuvenation technique. Bye.